And now we move to the writing. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So, the writing part one and part two, which one do you prefer? I, I, I would prefer part two. I mean, it's more important to spend public money on promoting a healthy lifestyle in order to prevent Fair. illness then then to spend it, it on uh, on the treatment, treatment people who are already ill so prevention is better than cure yeah uh, basically so because we have limited time um you don't have to write the full essay definitely you will give us some maybe key points and oh, how you support okay. your statements so the main statement is important and then supporting ideas as well it's like a debate yeah <laughs> it's like speaking parts free i'm scared you can do it let's do it It seems like four minutes is a little bit too long for the guests because they're so talented. Right, the floor is yours now, Thedu. So, um, I believe that prevention is a more effective and less costly method in terms of protecting the health, uh, the, the well-being of uh, people because my first point is that um, there are illnesses that cannot be cured, terminal diseases or terminal illness, uh, they can only be prevented. For example, a healthy lifestyle can reduce the risk of cancer, but when you are diagnosed with cancer already, there is little to none that you can do to mm. actually cure yourself. And uh, the second point that I do, uh, that, that I made, was about the cost of uh, prevention and cure. So um, let's take example for in the epidemic. If you are not uh, careful in terms of protecting your own health, then uh, it would put a financial burden on the government to uh, deal with the consequences of your negligence. Mm -hmm. Do you have the same point of view, Chipen? Um, I, I actually do agree with you in terms of the agree part, because I actually uh, wrote this essay in a different way. Mm -hmm. I spent the first paragraph saying that I do agree with this point because it's not just about the cost, it's not just about the fact that there are some kind of health issues once you got it, it's almost impossible for yeah. you to cure it. Mm -hmm. But also the fact that there are some illnesses, some health conditions that have so much complications mm -hmm. that it's just extra challenging to deal with it. And even once you're cured, the aftermath yeah. is even more like it's, it's even worse. For example, the side COVID. effect. Yes. yes, the side effects, the aftermath, the even yeah. So it's never truly finished when it comes to diseases, conditions, health issues. But the second part, I do spend time to talk about why I still believe that there should be some sort of a balance because there are a lot of people who are actually following this kind of lifestyle and diet because of their religion, because of the culture, mm. oh, yeah. because yeah. of what they believe in. So by promoting uh, another kind of diet, even though it's good for them, it might be a little bit more, it might be a little bit too coerced to mm. You can, I, I still believe that kind it is... Kind of on their right. Yeah, exactly. I, I do believe it's better to not try to force your belief and mm. your um, anything to anyone. So a promotion is good, but at the same time, you can never be too certain about it. There's mm -hmm. still some sort of things that are left that cannot be done because, again, it's their right to follow yes. that kind of lifestyle. It's their right to be faithful to their religion and culture. Mm -hmm. And also some lifestyle, even though it's very healthy, it's also expensive. Yes. Yeah, so in a lot of countries, it is not yet the um, resources and the conditions are not yet conducive for that thing, conducive to that thing, uh, for that thing to happen. So I think it's still best to leave out some sort of um, counter argument mm. so that people see that it's still very important to find a balance point, to yes. find a middle ground. Now it's time to study IELTS.